And hello there, everyone. It is your boy, Lord Dorkwat. And... Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I don't see my face. There we go. There's my face. My handsome face that everyone really wants to see. Am I right? Uh, you can't see my muscles, but uh, bam, nigga. Also, everyone, <laughs> if you see the title of this video, uh, and you're seeing this video, holy shit, mega, mega awesomeness. I was not expecting anyone to see this video at all. I just need to get this. I need to get this out. I'm here to talk about the current state of Vanguard, and I'm not talking about. I know, look, look, guys. I'm not talking about how these fucking YouTubers want to make 30-minute videos comparing it to fucking Reborn. All right. Fucking comparing Anime Vanguard to Reborn. Yo, this is gonna be a long... This is, yo, this is gonna be quite the fucking rant. Let's start with the fucking comparison of Reborn shit. Okay, let's start that shit. Let's start that shit. I hate this this fucking comparison that's going on so much with, with... I didn't properly make my fucking team. Oh, fuck. I, I, hate, I hate it so fucking much, man. I'm, I'm gonna fix my team now, guys. We're gonna do the fucking tournament. And what, what I mean, when, when I mean by what I hate, this is what I hate. This is what I hate about the current state of YouTube and this whole fucking um, this whole new anime reborn shit that just fucking dropped. And let me let me let me tell you why I'm in such a hateful mood. Why I want to beat children, all right, and really ruin their lives. Ah, uh, oh, all right, fuck. I'm fucking myself, man. I don't got a script for this shit. Um, but the reason I'm so upset. It's because people are like, hey guys, sh should you... What the fuck's my cat doing? I right, fuck it. People are like, should you stop playing Anime Reborn? I mean, should you stop playing Anime Vanguards because Anime Reborn dropped? Holy shit, guys. Anime Reborn, the next best tower defense game? Holy shit, guys. Anime Reborn feels just like AA. Holy shit, guys. Look at these animations. Honestly, I think this is better than Anime Vanguard's. Fuck no, it's not. God damn, this is all personal preference. And right now you're waking the fuck out of it. God damn it, personal preference. Fuck. Yo, if Anime Reborn was a person with a 12-inch slong, let's just say you would have no problem fitting that shit down your fucking throat. I hate people who are comparison, who are not, who are comparison. Who are comparing the game of Anime Reborn to Anime Vanguards. Not because Anime Vanguards is a dookie bookie dooly game. No, that's not the reason why I dislike people comparing it. It's because the comparison doesn't make fucking sense. For everything good you can say about the new Anime Reborn, you can literally say the exact, and yes, the exact. Same thing about Anime Vanguard. It makes no goddamn sense. We were like, it just looks so good. Man, the animations are so great. It's gonna be the next AA. Dude, just play Anime Vanguard if you wanted to play a game that's like fucking AA. You know, this game is, I don't know, man. This, this is pretty fucking close to a fucking AA. If, if you fucking ask me, I played AA. I would know. Okay, I used to fucking jerk off to that shit all the time, man. Waking up, just start sh fucking sh slow stroking, bro. Okay. Got it, man. But it, it, and then people are like, oh, the fucking content is so much better. It feels good to grind. The content's a goddamn same. I saw a video saying it feels so good to grind secrets and anime reborn compared to anime and vanguards. I'm sorry. I, 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 I'm sorry you couldn't be lucky like me to get two alec cards. It was an accident, by the way. I was trying to get a gojo and I, uh, they gave me a fucking alec card, okay? But I'm sorry, you didn't get lucky to get two fucking alec cards, okay? I'm sorry the game didn't stroke your meat like it did in mine. That shit gave me the fucking reach around. Alright? I'm sorry. But just because you couldn't get a banner secret doesn't mean secrets in general in Anime Vanguard are harder to get than in Anime Reborn. Because motherfuckers are like, yo, Android 21 is a 0 0.7. Oh my gosh, that's so much easier to grind. Igris is a 0 0.7. And if you have a good enough team and you can beat boss event, goddammit, it's a 2% motherfucker. 
into two percent. If anything, that means Anime Vanguard has the better way of grinding for a secret because it's a two percent. Also, the secrets we have right now currently are also evolvable secrets. How many secrets do we have that you can evolve from? We have Sukuna and Gojo. Both of those are secrets you can evolve and get. So, I don't know what the fuck you're saying. Also, Rengoku is a fucking 1%. So, again, for the people who I have seen saying grinding secrets feels far more satisfying in Amory Reborn than it does in Vanguards, um, you actually make no fucking sense because they're practically the fucking same. Okay? People comparing anime vanguards to reborn and reborn to anime vanguard, doesn't fucking matter. Who, people doing that. I just make sure my mic is on. I fucking muted myself. Don't make any fucking sense at all. And the reason why I say that is because they're practically the same game. The only thing is. Um, Anime Reborn is going to try to fuck the shit out of your wallet. The amount of game passes they have is crazy. And and, and don't be like, oh, Anime Vanguard also has um, also has fucking game passes. Yes, it does. It does have fucking game passes. But it, you, did you see the amount of starter packs Anime Reborn has? Them motherfuckers are screaming, we need fucking money, man. They're screaming, we're broke. And I mean, you know, that's understandable, man. It's, you know... It's, it's the economy, bro. It's the fucking economy, and they're all fucking broken. That motherfucker's fast as shit, man. That's a fast ass enemy. Can I kill him in one shot? Ooh, no, I can't. No, I can't. I cannot kill him in one shot. Damn, you. Damn. Uh, we'll just put two sukunas down. Um, that motherfucker's fast. Uh, who can we upgrade? Fuck. Uh, fuck. Uh, fuck. But as I was saying, man, it's just fucking crazy. Like they they really expect so fucking much from Anime Vanguard when comparison to Reborn. Like they're giving Reborn so much hype. They're like, oh, Reborn just dropped and it's doing just as good. Should you quit Anime Vanguard to play Anime Reborn? Fucking lost this shit so fucking hard. Man. Yeah, I'm fucking saying. Should you quit Anime Van? I just pressed return. Fucking line. Should you quit Anime Vanguards to play? fucking reborn no you fucking shouldn't at the end of the day the exact fucking same not the exact same not gonna lie i still prefer anime vanguards but that's just personal preference because that's what this shit is no one should be saying this was straight i just chose straight i just chose straight you know what let me just talk to you guys was so this shit fucking while i die while i die no one should be sitting here saying that Anime Reborn is better than the Anime Vanguards because it's not. It is. It is just flat out not. And yes, that is my personal opinion, but I feel like that's just that should just be strict, this objective facts. What could you name that is better about it? The the way they talk to the community. I can give less two fucks about how the community talks to me. They be like you dirty ass neck. I'm kidding. Cool. Anime Reborn has a uh, fucking dev that devs that talk to you and tell you when the update's coming out. Okay. Or you could just be patient and wait for a update to come out. And that, that actually moves me on to our next segment: fucking updates. People say Anime Reborn is going to be better because because Anime Vanguard has this massive update issue. So many YouTubers have made 10 minute, 9 minute, 20, 30 minute videos. Talking about the update issues between in an anime vanguards because they have lack of communication, some shitty devs that don't want to actually get paid because they're getting hired to do some dev work. Which yeah, that's a pain in the ass. You're hiring devs and devs and they're not fucking doing the work you're hiring to and and a good enough time to pop, pop an update out. But what I don't understand is why people are putting this high ass expectation on anime vanguard to be <laughs> fucking. Busting out updates like I be busting at night. I I do this shit twenty times a night, all in a fucking row, all in under five hours. Just <laughs> that's me in my fucking bed. Anime Vanguard's not putting up numbers like that. They're not, but that's not a fucking bad thing. I don't know why there is this expectation for Anime Vanguard's to just be shitting out updates. Why do you want a quality game to be shitting out quantity? You shouldn't be. Wanting to shit out a whole bunch of shit. These motherfuckers int introduced a boss rush. 
That is cool as fuck. Name an anime tower defense game that's done that. Maybe anime world tower defense, actually. But that's a different story. Fuck that. Okay, ignore that shit. Name another game that is doing it like anime vanguards. Don't fucking say Reborn. They just dropped. I'm not going to fucking... I'm not going to suck their dick. Or I'm not going to give them a whole bunch of fucking hype. I like anime vanguards. I prefer. They're doing a really good job, in my opinion. Okay, secrets are easy to attain. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. I literally have every secret in the fucking game. Not every exclusive, because I haven't grinded for Toji or Rengoku yet. But I have every secret in the fucking game. That's how easy this shit is. If you don't if you don't have it, you're just unlucky. That's just flat out how it is. You're just unlucky. This shit's fucking easy. Alright? So when I finish grinding all these fucking secrets, like Sukuna, Sukuna took me a week. He came out just a week ago. And it took me a week to get it. Why? Because I have a fucking life. I have a job. Alright? I go to work, I come home and I grind a little bit. That's pretty much it. I don't sit here for 20 hours straight just trying to max out a Sukuna. Why the fuck are you trying to max out a Sukuna that fast? I get it for some of the YouTubers that are using Sukuna for content. Like, hey guys, it's me, your boy, Sukuna. I have four fingers. All four of these fucking fingers are going up your ass. I get it. That's why. They're grinding out Sukuna so fast because they're trying to make a showcase video. That's cool and all. But, like, I feel like YouTubers, me included, should not get leeway in complaining about a game lack of content. Because you're, you're, what do you mean? They have content. I don't think when Roblox devs make a game, hey, call me fucking crazy, but I don't think when Roblox devs make a fucking game, their intention is for only YouTubers to play it. No, I think they fully understand that kids are going to play it, they're going to have school, they're going to be busy with this and that. So, and like, that's like... A, I mean, in my opinion, that's how I fucking see it. Damn, 255 fucking damage on fucking flower. Not gonna lie, that's fucking cracked as shit. That's fucking cracked as shit, man. I gotta fucking lie, man. But, um, like, again, as I said, I have a job. I just, I get off work and I come home. And I grind this here and there. You don't see me complaining about a lack of content because the content's still here. I can grind it fucking whenever you guys are trying to grind it fucking all at once which makes no fucking sense because how can you expect there to be any fucking content if you're just if you're just flat out maxing it out man you're just maxing it out man. so like i feel like youtubers should not be making these 20 minute videos complaining about content yeah there's no fucking content nigga you beat it all just so you can make a video on it so you should no one should be giving hate I just put the wrong unit there. No one should be giving hate to anime vanguard devs in how they update because um, they're one for one, they're doing their best. Two, these updates obviously are not intended intended to be grinded out in one fucking night. I don't know. Again, call me crazy, but that might be fucking crazy. That we are sitting here getting mad at devs because you wanted to grind an update all in one fucking night. I don't know, man. You could call me crazy, but that might seem a bit fucking crazy. Not gonna fucking lie. Man. Not gonna fucking lie. Man. I think people should take their times with these updates. You know, again, for YouTubers, I get it. You're doing it for content. So how about this? Stop making 20 minute videos talking about how like, oh shit, did I sell my Sukuna? Where is the Sukuna I was going to do full AOE on? Well, we're fucked. Uh, GG, uh, I will redo this when I can actually fucking focus. YouTubers, go ahead, make your content, but don't make videos complaining about the update speed. They're doing perfectly fine. The Anime Vanguards came out fucking three months ago. Anime Vanguards came out three months ago. I don't care what anyone says. Even if you say fucking four months ago, okay? They still had three updates. They've, you can either say it like this. They've had three updates in the last four months, or they've had three updates in the last three months. Which means they've consistently updated three times per fuck. Not three times. They've updated once per fucking month. And if you ask me, that's pretty fucking great. Because if you play Dokkan Battle, an update can last two months to like three to fucking four. Okay? 
gotcha games I, I you guys are really too used to roblox gotcha but actual gotcha games these updates last fucking months man even small updates last months especially on fucking dokkan trust me sometimes i just i just want the fucking anniversary to come back i feel like people who are hating on anime vanguards because they keep delaying updates it's not one it's not their fucking fault that people they hired aren't you know keeping up with what they need to do it's not that's not their fault again they hired a dev they're not doing the dev work they're hiring someone to do it you know to help them so if that person's not doing their part how are you going to blame the person who is doing their part it's not fair can't really do that so two stop expecting a game that is clearly not intended to be grinded in one fucking weekend to have content every single week or every other week it doesn't make sense to have content every single other week is think about it like this why do you have so much free time in your life that when an update drops one week a whole two weeks later you're just done you're done in the entire fucking game you don't play you only play anime vanguard what type of fucking life you're living man i play souls rng <laughs> hold on that's fucking crazy man because i do i do play, I play souls rng man I play a lot of games. I play a lot of different fucking games, man. I play real games, too. Like Overwatch 2. I'm a fucking loser. Man, this has been a long-ass rant. That race has been like 16 minutes. I practically said a whole lot of nothing. All I'm saying is, I'm really frustrated with the current state of Anime Vanguard's YouTube. And the way Anime Vanguard is being critiqued. Because these aren't valid critiques. These are genuine... These aren't valid critiques. And you could say these are all different people's opinions. Yes, they are people's different opinions. These are some ass opinions. And that's just my opinion. And everyone can have their opinion. But let me say it like this. These are some ass opinions. And some of you motherfuckers need to shut the fuck up. You guys are you guys are going like I'm doing right now. I I you need you need doing more of this. That's what we need more of, right? That's what I need tonight. But basically what I'm trying to say is stop. Fuck, stop hating on anime vanguards because they're having delays or because an update hasn't come out when you want it to come out. One, the game is not intended, clearly not intended to be grinded in the first week or all in one fucking day. Alright? And there's multiple different forms of content in the game. You're really telling me, as a YouTuber, you sat there and did everything. You maxed out Paragon. You maxed out infinite mode. I mean, was that like, you went for a leaderboard run on infinite mode? Like, again, guys, I played Dokkan Battle. I know what gotcha looks like. Go search up Dokkan Battle on fucking YouTube. My boy, The Truth? My boy, The Truth, has been playing that shit for years. Trust me. I mean, no, I, I play fucking Dokkan Battle. He's been playing that shit for years. Dokkan Battle? Dokkan Battle has had eight anniversaries. Which means eight fucking years of matching little bubbles to do damage to a fucking PNG picture. And they have never had any issues. They have had complaints about updates, but people have still never stopped playing the fucking game. Okay? Alright, go look at fucking Dokkan Battle YouTube videos, and you'll see what I'm talking about when it comes to content. When I say, when you're playing a gacha game, you should expect your content to be like fucking Dokkan Battle. Where there's a fucking boss rush, where there's fucking, where there's different forms of content you can do to test your team, test out how you can build your team. Now I get it. Now what you can say, I would say it's pretty valid. There's not a lot of units in anime vanguards to where you can build a all Vegeta team, all Vegeta team reaching leaderboard. Okay, like on fucking Dokkan Battle, where you can be like all Broly team beating boss rush. You, that's something you can do in Dokkan Combat. I get it. So you could say there is not a lot of units in anime vanguards for people to play it like Dokkan. But stop treating it like it has no content. Because you're just not willing to play it. Because I still, me personally, again, I have a fucking life. I haven't even played. Man, you guys, you guys are really just looking at me do fucking nothing right now. Me, I have a fucking life. Okay, so when I get off and I come on MA Vanguards, I just catch up on a grinding that I wasn't able to do. But you people, you've already fucking maxed it out. So like, go do Paragon. You, if you've maxed it out, go do Paragon. 
go try to reach fucking leaderboard. They got tournaments now. Tournaments are every single fucking week. Every week. You there's really no content? You can't you can't do tournament? Look at this. Two boss rushes. Two boss rushes. And what you're gonna say? Oh, 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 oh. We macro that. We macro that. Bro, I can do that when I sleep. I can macro it. Cool. That's great for you. That's just another reason why you think there's no fucking content. Because most of the time, you play it with your dick in your hand and your eyes closed. Alright, uh, you motherfuckers are knocked out in your bed while your game is enjoying the content. Boss rush? Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. With this new update, the Igris one? Go ahead. AFK that. I don't care. I have yet to be able to AFK this. I've done this 30 times. All manual. Maybe not 30 times. But I could put it on my life. I've done this at least six times, manual. I know, like 30 compared to six. Look, man, I'm not trying to fucking die, all right? I've done this a lot manually, that's what I know. Because my, my fucking, my script kept breaking and I couldn't fucking AFK it possible. I like, uh, properly, I couldn't AFK it properly, so, you know. Not script, but my um, macro. Don't macro, by the way, don't, you know, fuck, I'm saying this. Uh, whatever. You know what? Fuck it. I don't care. No one's going to see this shit anyways. No one's going to see this shit. Stop macroing the game if you're going to complain about content. Because one, you're complaining about content, but then fucking breezing through it. Then you're complaining that, oh, most of the content's macro, but it's so boring. It's a gotcha game. Again, try playing Dokkan Battle. You can't macro that bitch. All right? So that means you're manually there. Playing with the little bubbles. Now they've added autoplay to the phone game, so it's, you know, it's not as fucking bad, but you can only do autoplay once you beat the stage once. So again, try playing Dokkan Battle and complaining about that bitch, okay? Stop fucking macroing if you're gonna complain about content. If you're not gonna complain about content, macro as much as you want, all right? Fucking have at it. Probably shouldn't be promoting that, but again, no one's gonna fucking see this shit. I just wanna get this out, because again, I'm fucking tired. I am tired tired of the way you guys treat this game because this game is a genuinely good fucking game and again look if anime reborn had a 12 inch cock it could fit down your throat this shit got a 20 inch one this shit's going down my throat and out my ass i'm taking it all that's so that's so good all right but that's besides the fucking that's besides the point man i'm cursing a lot I'm not. I'm not family friendly. I beat kids. All right. But you pass that beer bottle before I pass this fist across your face. All right. Basically, before I before I make this shit an hour fucking long, stop judging Anime Vanguard for a lack of content when there's plenty of content. There's Paragon. There's Infinite Modes. There's Leaderboards. There's Tournament Mode. There's Boss Rush. There's Raids. You can go shiny hunting. There is content in the game, you're just not choosing to make the content. A game isn't what the creators make it. Yes, they could drop an update, but you still have to play the game, okay? Trust me, there are different ways to play the game. Again, as I said, you can go shiny hunting. You can literally make it your life's mission to get every single shiny in the fucking game. You're just choosing not to, okay? Just stop, caring, stop comparing this to Anime Reborn. Anime Reborn just came out, okay? And Emory Reborn is a good game, but it's not just automatically better because it came out good. And Emory Vanguard came out good. They both came out good. Let the games exist as they own and just go by personal preference and play the fucking game. But stop comparing them because they're not the same. They're not going to be the same, even though they are the fucking same. Why? Because they're all fucking tower defenses. Everyone wants to make a tower defense. Everyone wants to be the next AA. So just choose what AA you feel the best with. I like Emory Vanguard. It's the one I like the most. All I gotta say is stop hating on my boy, all right? Oh, that's me choking on dick right now. Stop hating on my boy. It's a great game. Anime Rayborn is a, a decent game. I haven't really played it much. I don't really want to, but it's a game. It's another tower defense. Don't understand why people keep fucking making them, but hey, it's another tower defense. All I gotta say is look, stop hating on Anime Reborn. Stop hating on Anime Vanguard. Just enjoy what you like and enjoy, okay? So what if an update took a whole fucking month to come out? Well, maybe during that fucking month you should have applied to a fucking job to make some fucking bread. If you're a kid in school, 
I don't know, man. You're in school. How do you have so much time from school that you can finish an update in under two weeks? That's it's kind of crazy, especially when you should probably be playing other video games besides just tower defense. Okay, let me show you my stats in this game. Um, right, only 400,000 gems spent. There are YouTubers who have a million gems spent. Okay, there are YouTubers who go crazy in this shit. I don't. I don't go crazy because you don't fucking need to. Just enjoy the game like it's a normal fucking game, or stop treating it like it's life or death. Um, that's just my opinion on the state of Vanguard. To just stop bullying the motherfucker. The game is fun. Okay. Now I hope you guys take care. Um, if you dislike this video, I understand. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, I really suck at ending my video. Ooh.